What's up guys? Drunk for you here, back with a another new game. Look at that. This is a game called FTL, uh, Faster Than Light Travel. It's a neat little space game. I've never seen one like it before. Um, y you'll see pretty soon what I mean, but it's it's you're the captain of a single spaceship and you control it and it alone like you control its crew and you manage over like its systems like its weapons, shields, etc., etc. And you have to f and you fight other ships as you travel across the galaxy trying to complete your vital mission. And I kinda suck at this game. Like I'm gonna play on easy, and I like I've been playing on, on easy and I still can't beat this game. It's brutally hard. But I'm getting slowly, but I'm getting better at it. Slowly but surely, I'm getting closer and closer to beating it. Hopefully this time I know what to do. I hope. So. Um, so you get to choose like what kind of ship. I only have two unlocked and I kind of like this one better. Slightly. Um, it's like different rooms and different systems. Um, you get three different dudes and I don't know if I really need to rename anything. Might as well since I'm recording, might as well rename my ship to... Uh... Huh. I don't know. Star Traveler. I don't know. I don't know. Actually... I have an idea. Star Traveler. Can rename your dudes too. Can't put a period in there? Yes, I, I can't. Captain Star, there we go. Just to make it kind of unique. Yeah, might as well just start. So, the mission is I uh, have vital data. Um, that is vital to the remaining of the Federation fleet. I need supplies for the journey. Make sure you explore each sector before moving on to the next. That's actually what I haven't been doing. I've just been rushing straight through the straight to the end, and that's probably why I'm getting smashed so badly. But get to the exit before the pursuing rebel fleet catches up to you. Um, right. Yeah, it's always a good idea to switch these around. Um, so you start off like, you have your ship, these are your systems, shields, engines, oxygen, health, weapons. Uh, these are subsystems, which is navigation, or piloting, sensors, and door control. Um, you, you collect scrap and you can upgrade your ship. I'm gonna just upgrade my reactor, because your reactor can only power so many things at once. Which that gets a problem, especially if you start buying upgrades and you don't upgrade your reactor. But you jump across the the galaxy. This is only one section section sector. There's like eight you have to get through to get to the end. Uh, but there's stores and there's a distress call, so I mean someone needs my help. So you jump to the next beacon. The cockpit lights up with warning signals. You're being targeted by a nearby ship. Oh, it's a trap. Um, oh, I should have made my one of my second guys Admiral Akbar then. <laughs> I could have blamed everything on him. So, let me just quickly pause. Right. Um, which guy? That's Star there, so... I want that guy to go shield and that guy to go over to weapons, because these ones right here are like shields, engines, weapons, and piloting. If so there's somebody there, they can control and give it a small boost. And piloting helps you, like, dodge attacks and all that kind of stuff. Um, what I want to do is have my lasers attack the shielding system and have my torpedoes attack their weapon systems because well, the laser will hit the shield and bounce up but the missile can go straight through and immediately disable their their weapons so unpause it takes a second for them to charge up but so does it same thing for the enemy oh they just fired at us and we fired back enemy's charging up their FTL they're kind of trying to escape so next thing I'll do is target their engines. You can set it to automatically fire after an after game, but I usually disable that because I don't want to waste my torpedoes. You only get so many torpedoes, but your laser 
can fire ball until your until something happens to your weapon systems. There. See? I got rid of them so I got fuel missiles and scrap. One of the things you should always try and upgrade first though I usually count is my shields. So right now I only have one shield and the most and pretty soon or pretty quickly you'll start running into enemies with two shields. So that there where was a trap so Except the bribe? The unidentified ship is badly damaged and still being assaulted by a space pirate. The victim begins distress measures until the pirate cuts in and offers to split the bounty if you sit tight. Except the bribe. Uh, be the hero, attack the pirate. I'm doing that probably because I'm going to get more than 11 scrap if I attack the pirate. Yep, just for student. Yeah, so the pirate tries to attack me. Oh great, he's got a drone, enemy combat drone. He'll it flies around basically shooting me. So um, I'm gonna use my my uh, torpedo to immediately take out their drone control. There we go. Now it's trying to run. Go figure. Like Sometimes they miss, which is always good. Same thing can happen to you. Oh, now they they still want to bribe me off. Five missiles, two drones, and still eleven scrap. No, I want more of your money. I get twenty-seven scrap for that, and I get scrap for saving the other people. Yippee! Let me upgrade two power bars. Um, so now I just have extra power that I can use for something else. But I don't have enough to upgrade my shields just yet, so I'll wait on that. This can show a remote settlement being blockaded by a pirate ship. The ship hates the message. Just stay out of this or you'll be next. Attack the pirates. I like being the hero. Usually, usually because you get better loot out of it. Um, yeah, missiles take out. No, missiles take out shields. Weapons take out. No, missile <laughs> attack their weapons. My laser attacks their shields. All right. Ooh. Ooh. Yeah, might as well just take out their engines. Take out their piloting, they can jump. Take out their engines, they can jump. Oxygen basically keeps the oxygen level in your ship, because if ox oxygen fall falls too low, your guys will start to die. You pick through the mains and contact the settlement. Yay, I got a bunch of reward for that, so. There, now my shield's gone up, so I can. You have to go up, increase your shield by two in order to get an extra shield bubble. So, sweet. And now see, I have to get to the exit while the, the rebel fleet slowly moves closer every turn. Okay. They need fuel. But I don't really need the drone parts, but I'll be nice and give them some. <laughs> Beacon has been built for New Rice Family Space Station. No one hails the ship. Okay, so nothing to do there. And you notice each time I jump, it uses up one piece of fuel. Which you always have to keep an eye on because I'll, I'll probably run out eventually. Or, well, you can buy more fuel, but I'll always forget to keep looking, so. Power ship has been laying in wait inside the astro field and immediately moves to attack. Great. In asteroid field, yeah, asteroids will hit our shields and mess with them. In this case here, I do want some missiles, so I'll leave them alone. I won't kill them. Too bad you can't lie and then still keep attacking them. Because that's what I do. I'd be like, fine, give me all that stuff, and then I'd still kill them. Like an asshole. 
jump. Oh no, I'm not paying a toll to get out of here. Screw you. <laughs> Now with two shields, this is harder for this thing to get through. No, I don't want to find any more torpedoes. Too bad there's no way to shoot down these things. Oh wait, what the hell? I just got shot by that thing. No ship is powering up its FTLs, trying to escape. Oh, fire must have broke out in their shield systems. They just randomly blew up. The slavers want one of my crew members. I know what to do. Fight back. <laughs> Cause if I beat them, there's a chance they'll I'll get a free slave out of it. You get an extra crew member. So. <laughs> yep, take one of our slaves as a tribute. I will do that. So now I get this guy, Shelton. And I send him down to engines to do some help over there. One, two, three, four jumps, and they'll probably go one, two. No, I should probably get to the exit now before that rubble fleet catches up, because if they catch up, they're really... You'll only have to fight one of their ships at once, but they're really, really impossible to to fight. As of yet, I haven't been able to beat any of them, and that's why I can't win this game. <laughs> you arrived at the long-range beacon... yeah. Uh, Asteroid field I can explore, it, or it's too dangerous. If I explore it, there's probably a good chance my health is going to go down. Um, you have to be really careful because the only way you can repair health is at s certain space stations. Um, it's too dangerous. Forget it. You know, I jump to the next sector and... So th these are all the sectors you have to get through and I think it's like I said, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Including the first one, so... A nebula or a civilian sector. I'll put the civilian sector. Nebulas are really tricky. They mess up with your sensors, and so you, it's hard to see, and it, they're just kind of annoying. Because you'll get nebula storms, and they like drain half of your engine, half of your reactor power. Scouts. These things are pretty easy to destroy because they're unmanned, so you don't have to worry about any of their systems getting repaired after they're destroyed. Oh, this one's kind of powerful. It's, it's weapons and shields didn't go down after that first hit. Poster was attacking some me some stuff. That's good. Upgrading piloting just makes it easier to avoid shots. But I have a guy manning it too, so that even that increases even further the chance at all that I can avoid shots. Same thing if you upgrade your engines, is an easier chance that the enemy will miss when they try to shoot you. What about the distress signals? Give them fuel. I'll be nice. I'll give them fuel. Oh, and they gave me information on the surrounding beacons. That's pretty good. I knew someone would fall into our dastardly trap. 
Yep. Well, kill him. Shields are down, but they still have that laser left. Hmm. And take them out. Actually, attack the shields again. Looks like they're trying to repair that. Store or. Hmm. Possible ship detected. Attack the automated ship to get to the sensor station. It's got no shield, so <laughs> this will be pretty quick. It's just a scout. Oh man, I missed big time. from it. Move on to the next area where there's probably nothing. Oh wait, scan is showing intelligent life forms on a planet nearby. No match for them can be found in the database. Uh, I have a bad feeling about this. I land a small shell in an enormous field. The only occupants are small, brightly colored, six-legged, horse-like animals. Could they be where your scans pick up? Try and communicate peacefully. Oh, sweet. An Engi. They found, a, they found an Engi stuck in like a stasis pod or something. Well, that's kind of cool. These guys, oh, repair speed is doubled. Combat damage inflicted is half. So these guys are really good at repairing stuff. I'm not so good at fighting when if an enemy comes on my ship. Well, that's... That's really... Cool to know. Good thing I investigated the planet. Hiya! Oh, it's a slaver ship. Oh, no, no, no. You will never surrender one of our crew. If I get another crew member, at least I'll be surprised. That means I'll have six crew members. Wow, that's gotta be the most crew members I've ever had at once. No exceptional skills for that dude. Yeah, since these guys are really good at repairing, we're gonna keep them somewhere close by here so that they can repair repair stuff really quickly. So I'll keep them in my shields and weapons, because shields and weapons seem to get attacked the most. Actually, exit's way up there, so I better. Will I have enough time to? No, I better not take my chances. <laughs> I don't want to get caught by that, by the rebels. So, except the bribe. Um. No. Oh wait. No. Okay. So don't bother with the missiles, because this thing will just shoot down my missiles that I fire at it. So I'll just use my laser to attack its weapons first. And then it shields. Then I'll take out the drone. And by that point, it'll probably be dead. Actually, they're fixing their weapons, so I better take that out again. Ooh. 
Such a more generous bribe. Three fuel. 17 scrap. No. Keep attacking. I don't know what to attack. I'm just. There. There. The drone's down. Oh my gosh, my missile missed. Are you kidding me? Would have liked some of the fuel, but uh, people the pirates were attacking ran away. Is a store here or a store there? Which store should I go to? Well, in case there's a slight chance that I can't jump from there to there, I'm gonna go to this one. Drone control cloaking. Do I have anything to sell? No, just my weapons. FTL jamber. Stealth weapons. Reverse ion field. Yeah, I don't want any of that. I have to repair myself, buy some fuel. Maybe some, some missiles, I guess. And then jump to the next area. See, this shows me where the enemy is and where they're going to be when they jump again, so. Well, small military outpost. Alright. these guys to go repair my oxygen system. See my oxygen level starts to go down slowly. Nice. Oh, I can actually go up here and investigate that before I have to jump. Before I have to exit the stair system. Buy one slave, attack the slaver skill, make no other slaver and continue away. I don't need any more crew, but I'll, I'll attack them anyway. See what I can get out of it. <laughs> oh, they have a pretty good shield on them. One of those reverse ion shields. That disables my missiles. Take one of our slaves. Might as well. Now I get to sleep for free. Will? Double damage in combat. Half repair speed. So he's really good at fighting up. Intruder, so send him there, I guess, for now. Richard's health is low, so send him to, to get healed. And let's jump to the exit map. Trade fuel nine missiles minus two. Might as well. Next sector. Civilian or rebel? I'll take the civilian sector. Actually, I'm gonna save here and the recording. Got some stuff I gotta go do, so thanks for watching and I'll probably catch you guys next time.